the programming behind what we're doing involves three major pieces. There's Max, which handles the voice recognition and outputting the words that we're using. There's the, um, the TUIO library, specifically a program called T-Beta, that handles the blob tracking and all of the, um, the processing of the, of the information that we're getting from the infrared camera. The reason we're using this particular version instead of something like Reactivision or um, a couple of others is that it's got a lot of filters here. So we can uh, change the, the, based on lighting conditions and get a really clean sample image that's not uh, too dirty so that that comes out as a single dot and not something too bright. And then there's processing itself, which is bringing all those together and outputting the display. This program uh, ties together um, the Max through here, through this inlet, and looking for a new word, and ties together the blob tracking through here. And it's programmed to that when it receives a word from Max, it prints that out in Times New Roman at a specific font size in black, and it also puts a rectangle of a specific size around that word in white, so that it looks like the magnets that we're looking for. It's also looking for the events from the blob tracking software, and when it gets one of those, it uh, knows to have a little burst event and a little yellow dot that tracks where it is. When those two things meet, the word and the yellow dot, which represents a touch, they snap together and the word will then follow where that goes.